Don't come to a learning bite short, short bites of information you can apply immediately. Today we're looking at sales and how do you manage your sales? So if you're a sales manager, how do you manage your sales team? How do you manage staying on target when you've got sales targets to meet? And if you're an individual sales rep, how do you manage yourself? One of my first questions I ask the salespeople is, what is your number? Do you know your conversion rate? How do you work that out? Each salesperson should know their sales funnel, the process that you take clients through. And there are three key factors. One, what the steps are that you take a client through from the moment you meet them to the moment they get the product, or they agree to go ahead, should I say, in terms of giving you the order, which then flows onto them getting it. The next thing is once you know those steps, how long does it take to go from step one to step two to step three to step four? McDonald's has a process. For them, they've managed to get it down to a minute. You walk in and they take you through a little process. So do you know the steps? Do you know how long it takes to get between each steps? And do you know your conversion ratios between all of those? Had a great meeting this morning and um, discussing with a sales rep. He, he said, I need to increase the amount of leads in the top of my funnel. I don't think I've got enough. If I could put some more in the top, then I should be better at the bottom. And, and I said to him, before we look at how to put more in the top, let's make sure your conversion rate is right. You see, when you learn to manage your sales funnel well, what you can do is that you change your funnel into a pipeline. And the more of a pipeline you have, the less time you're wasting with people who don't then go and proceed. So if we can lift our conversion rate by 10 or 20%, that could actually convert to not having to go and increase the amount of meetings you've got to have, the amount of phone calls you've got to do, and all the rest of it to go and fill up the top of the funnel because you're actually being smarter with what's in there. But if you don't manage your figures, if you don't manage your process, if you don't manage what you've got, who's in there, how long they're gonna to take to convert, then what can end up happening is you can end up panicking and just doing what you think you need to do so that the figures look good and you go, it's a numbers game, it's a numbers game. And what will end up happening often is if you put too much in the top and you don't manage that through, you can get so busy that you don't then give the quality time to the people who need it and because they don't have the quality time, they don't convert. Because they're not converting, your ratio drops. Because your ratio drops, you need more people and it becomes a downward spiral. When you learn to manage your sales process, learn to manage your sales figures, what ends up happening, of course, is that you can actually look and go, sometimes less is more. I'll see less people have more quality conversations, take more time to find out what their pain points are and how we can help address those. And because I care more, because I focus more, because I spend more time with them, they're far more likely to go ahead and lift my conversion rate. So less clients, higher conversion rate, higher sales. And it comes down to managing what you do with your time, managing where you put your focus in your role. So have a look at your figures, have a look at where you invest your time, and here's to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz.